I just wanted to take a second to formally welcome our friends here at the Canada Club, the High Commission of Canada, Lori Fernandez and Jazz Junction, by Colin, Angelo, Tony, and lovely Diana. So welcome. It's a pleasure, an honor to have you here. Um, and for those of you who aren't familiar with the club here, with our, with our, with our new friends, the band, they are playing actually every single day, except Mondays, at the Lodi Hotel. So if you haven't gotten enough, uh, you can go and enjoy them at the Lodi Hotel uh, every other day, except Monday. So it's extra special, the fact that you have one day off and that you're willing to come and spend it with us. So we really appreciate that. Lori, uh, Laura Fernandez is an uh, artist, songwriter, producer, musician, radio host, uh, host of Jazz uh, Night Cafe Latino in Toronto. So uh, lots, lots of talent here. So enjoy. And uh, we've got some CDs. We've got a few CDs to hand out tonight for those who are interested. So come see me at the end. Gosh, I feel so welcome. It's uh, very exciting uh, to be here. I just want to say how honored I was to receive the invitation. It wasn't even, um, I think it was like the next day after I arrived that I got an email. Bing, how did they know I was here already? Um, but uh, it's, it's just a huge honor and to play for, for my Canadian friends. It's been an amazing journey for me to come here. I just want to take a a few minutes to publicly thank Colin De Cruz. Oh. Colin, Tony, and, uh, and Angelo. Uh, Jazz Junction, um, we, we both, uh, I feel like we both started on this journey a little bit on faith. You didn't know what I was gonna really be like, and I had no idea what I was getting into. Um, but sometimes the universe just puts these things out there and you know if you don't say yes you regret it for the rest of your life and I just had this uh, very deep feeling that I was meant to come here and that Colin was the right person I'd actually been aware of Jazz Goa and Colin for many years actually at least you know from my from my the beginning of my tenure at Jazz FM 91 I was aware of Jazz Goa uh, he posts constantly <laughs> these wonderful videos, and, uh, and I had spoken uh, to a few people who, who knew of you, and uh, they all had just the most amazing things to say about Colin, and, uh, and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go and, uh, and just see what happens. And I was absolutely delighted to meet Diana and Colin and the rest of the band members, and it's just been an incredible journey for me um, to be here. And I, I love India, I'm smitten, and uh, I know that I will be back. Um, but <laughs> Thank you. So actually pretty emotional um, to, to find yourself playing for <laughs> a group of Canadians in a whole other side of the world. Um, but I just feel very welcome here and I want to thank you all so much for inviting me and, uh, and for having us as your guests. I want to thank uh, Jazz Junction and uh, and actually, I want to talk a little bit about Jazz Goa because uh, Colin has started this community. I guess it's more like a community. It's a, a, an online community that he's uh, been nurturing for many years. And uh, he, he records many artists from all over the world who come to Goa um, and who perform with the band. And he, he's also been videotaping me almost every night. They put me right to work. and. Uh, and thanks to them, there, there's suddenly a lot of Laura Fernandez video content out there. <laughs> um, but it's just been fantastic. And uh, this lovely lady, Diana De Cruz, has uh, been responsible for taking and documenting this entire journey, really, for me. Um, not just videos, but photographs. And, you know, you know, she's like, oh, I'm going to take a picture of you stand over there right under the flag. And so I have all these fantastic pictures that are much better than selfies because my arms are not quite long enough to make my face look good. And as my daughter tells me, mom, you've got to hold it up. You know, it doesn't make your nose look as big. Um, but uh, thanks to Diana, there are some actually decent pictures of me out there. And um, 
So I am a singer-songwriter. I immigrated to Canada when I was seven years old. I had, uh, I was born in Madrid, Spain, and my dad, who was an architect, um, almost immediately after I was born, decided he was going to work in Switzerland. And there was a big migration of people from Spain going to Switzerland at the time. Um, and uh, so, Believe it or not, I'm the only one in my family that was actually born in Spain. My brothers and sisters were all born in Switzerland, in Geneva and Lausanne, and I, I spent the first seven years of my life there. Uh, so uh, French is my unofficial second language. Uh, Spanish first, French, and then um, I still remember the day when my dad said, oh, we're gonna go to a country where there is a lot of snow. <laughs> Next thing I know, we're in, we're in Calgary, Alberta. We, we were supposed to move to Montreal, but by the time the visas and everything came through, um, there wasn't as much work, I guess, in Montreal, and uh, we ended up immigrating to Calgary, Alberta, and I know Isabel is from Calgary. Um, it's been uh, quite a journey in my life to uh, travel so extensively and to get to know so many parts of, of the world and also of Canada. Uh, I've been based in Toronto now for Hmm, many years. I don't want to say the amount of years, because then you could start doing your calculations. <laughs> you know how old I really am. Uh, but, uh, but I love Toronto. My children were born there, and it is my home now. Um, it's been a real journey for me. I was a visual artist for the first part of my life, and uh, worked with uh, a lot of can-lit authors, and um, I illustrated many books. I uh, did a lot of uh, work for advertising. In fact, um, the original red leaf on the back of the Air Canada plane, where they had green and dark, the dark green and red leaf, that was um, my leaf. And uh, so I've done a lot of work. And the Ontario driver's license, the original one, before I went digital and all that. So I, I, I um, did a lot of work in advertising and in illustration. And you know, as technology changed and there was less demand for hand-painted work. Um, I decided that I'd had enough of that life where, you know, I pretty much sat in a room and was in an art factory for many years. I, I felt this great desire to pursue my music, which is what I'd always wanted to do originally. And uh, I, I don't know how I did it, but I bought a piano and the songs just started pouring out. And the next thing I knew, I had an album. The next thing I knew, I had a radio show and another album. and. And I find myself here in India with these <laughs> wonderful people. Um, so it's so amazing. <laughs> but I'm not going to cry. Uh, I am going to play you some songs, however. Um, one of the things that happens when you immigrate from, from another country and, uh, and you are I guess displaced in a way is that the first thing that you try to do is fit in and you don't want to belong to your old culture and so I just remember being a, a kid and just wanting to have like a Canadian name <laughs> like Smith or Jones or Campbell uh, and uh, but I was Fernandez and uh, it actually uh, when I was given the radio show uh, as a a uh, huge responsibility to, uh, it's a Latin jazz, a, a radio show that's based on Latin jazz, and Jazz FM 91 Toronto is uh, the only 24-hour jazz station in Canada. And uh, it's one of the very few in the world. And uh, somehow, I don't know, it just, the, the show landed in my lap, and I said yes to it, like I tend to say a lot. I say yes a lot. Um, but it changed my life in a big way because one of the things that it did is it brought me full circle to um, embracing my roots and my culture. And the first thing that I did uh, was to put out a Spanish album, an all Spanish album, and it is the album that I have brought here. It's called Un Solo Beso. It's actually my second album because my first album was all uh, English songs with one Spanish song. And, uh, and that started my journey into Spanish songwriting. And I, I wrote Un Solo Beso, and after that, you know, suddenly I was identified with Latin music and with the radio show and everything. So uh, it's been uh, an amazing journey back to myself, in a way. And so I'm gonna play you 
uh, the title track of my album Un Solo Beso, and it means a single kiss. And really the song is about, um, I guess, the deterioration of a relationship uh, through not making time to show uh, your love and affection, you know, because life gets very busy and we tend to uh, get caught up in our everyday things and sometimes we forget that the important thing is to show those that we love, whether it be our partners or our children or our friends, to, to really t let them know that we love them because life is short, you know. Um, I, I wrote that album after my father passed away. It was a very sudden death and it was a big wake-up call for me. That is why I'm doing music now and, uh, and why I wrote the album. So um, here you go, this is in Solo Beso. I hope I didn't talk too much, but I am a radio host and I'm sure that's why they hired me. <laughs>